Okay, here's a business application where we're going to sell hot dogs and we want to maximize our revenue. Okay, so we have the information from the baseball stadium. They normally can sell 10,000 hot dogs if they charge $4. Uh, they've also realized they've tried changing the price and found out that every time they raise the price by a quarter, they lose 500 sales. Okay. So we're going to let our N, which is what we're trying to find, stand for the number of price increases. Now, we could work out this problem where n would be the number of price decreases. We could lower the price and sell more hot dogs. And we would get the same answer. We just, our negatives, our numbers would all, the negatives would be flip-flopped. So, for argument's sake, we're going to do it this way. So, we know how to find the revenue. To find the revenue, you need to take the cost, how much you're charging for each, and multiply it by the number of items that you sell. And that'll give us our revenue. So what's our cost equation going to be? Well, we know we start out charging $4 for a hot dog. But that's going to change, and we're going to change it by 25 cents each time. So it's going to be 4 plus 25 cents for each time we raise the price. Okay. What's our quantity going to be? Well, at $4, we start out with 10000 but if we raise the price, we lose, so it's going to be minus, 500 hot dogs each time. So minus 500N. Now, if we FOIL this out, let's see what we get. 4 times 10,000, there's 40,000. 4 times negative 500N, so that's negative 2,000N. 0.25n times 10,000, so that's 2,500n, and then 0.25n minus 500n, that's going to be negative 125n squared. So now let's rearrange this in our a more familiar order. Let's put the n squared first, negative 125n squared. Okay, plus negative 2,000 plus 2,500, that's going to be 500N plus our 40,000. <clears> so we've got our formula for the revenue, and it's a polynomial. It's quadratic, the N squared. So we know the rough shape is going to look like this. And we're trying to maximize the revenue, which means we need to find the highest point. Okay? And that's going to be a critical point. So we need to figure out where that critical point is going to be. Well, to do that, we need the derivative. So let's take the derivative of our revenue equation. So we bring the exponent down to the front, negative 125 times 2. So that's negative 250n plus, okay, this is a linear term. And the derivative from that, we just drop the variable, and we're left with just the 500. And the 40,000 is a constant. So when we go to take the derivative, that part goes to zero. So that just goes away. So here's our derivative for the revenue. And the critical point is where the derivative is zero. So we're going to set this equal to zero. So we've got negative 250n plus 500. We're going to move the 250 over to the left. So we move the negative 250 over to the left. It becomes positive 250. N equals 500. And we see we get a nice answer of N being 2. All right, so we're going to maximize the revenue when we change the price twice. We're going to increase the price two times. So what should we charge? Well, here's our formula for the price. And we just found out that n is going to be 2. So the amount we need to charge will be 4 plus 
n or 2, and that comes out to be a price of $4.50. Okay. How many hot dogs will we sell? Well, here's the formula that tells us how many hot dogs we're selling. So the number of hot dogs would be 10,000 minus 500 times 2. Okay, that calculates out to 9,000. And this makes sense. We raise the price. We're going to lose some of our sales. But we're going to maximize the revenue because the extra money we bring in each time will more than balance the amount we're losing. So finally, what will our revenue be? Well, we just multiply the $4.50 for one hot dog times the 9000 we expect to sell. And we get a final total of $40,500. And that will be the most money we make in, assuming our numbers are correct.